You're, are we live yet? <laughs> we should be. We're live. Yeah. We're live. We're live with Julie Feldman from Guys and Gals. I'm so excited to talk to you because, um, well, one, it I do get up every morning. I always say this. I get dressed and I, you know, because it always makes me feel good. But when I especially am talking to someone in the fashion world, I always think, okay, I got to really step up my game in the morning. So um, yesterday I talked to Sharon from She and I had like my dress on today. I'm a little more like guys and gals, like, you know, back yeah. to my black and white. <laughs> so, um, but I love guys and gals and- Thank you, thank you, thank you. One of the things- Before we even start, you start interviewing me, I have to give you so many kudos oh. for supporting small businesses you're interviewing everybody, whether you're their client or not. You know the importance that small business is the backbone of this country, but not everybody feels the way you do or I do. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's incredible how you're supporting everybody. And thank you. I want. Well, thank you. I mean, really, you know, this was like an experiment because I, I love to talk to people. I don't love to talk to people on camera. I mean. I just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I started out as a produce, a TV producer, so I was always behind the camera. And, you know, some people don't know that, but um, and yeah, so I, you know, I love people's stories, and um, I came from a family business as well, so we're gonna talk about that. And I mean, I love your mom, and I love that when this yeah. sort of pandemic happened. She and I are in this networking group. And the first thing she said, well, I got kicked out of my store <laughs> and I'm not allowed in. And, no, health is first. <laughs> and my kids are lovely. They leave me food on the doorstep. And I thought, you know what? She, she does have a fabulous family. She has a fabulous family of customers. Um, and to me, that is what our community is about. I think, I think it's the backbone of what our country should be about. Um, it's how I was I was really brought up that you support, you know, where you live, um, and you do what you do. And so I was so excited to talk to you because I love that you work with your mom. I know she's allowed back in the store now. <laughs> Not really. No, I kick her out because you know we've been really busy. So health does come first with this whole thing. And uh, I, um, excuse me one second. Ah, they're not answering the door. Give me one second. Okay. You guys, thank you, Carrie. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I so no, 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 no. Can, can I tell you, I love being live. And yes. through this whole thing the other day, I was talking to Closet Envy and they were like, the phone's ringing, the phone's ringing. Do you know how happy that makes me? I want people to come to you. I, I hope we get interrupted a lot. I hope, yeah. I hope your door, I hope customers come in. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, they probably will all this whole time. We've been so busy. So that's why I will not let, my mom's dying to come back in and she's coming a little bit, but I am not. I When she comes in, I'm like, mom, you need to leave. We are too busy. You need to leave. You know, yeah. she's at that age bracket. You know, no matter how many of us are wearing masks, she is at that age bracket that I want to make sure my parents stay healthy. Yeah. So that's more important than the business. You know, yeah. the business comes second. Their health comes first. So And it's it's so hard for her not to be in the store because you know, your your mom so give us a little history of guys and gals. Okay, so my mom, a girlfriend of our, hers suggested this at a barbecue to start a store. That's why they can never change this name. It was like a fluke, you know, it was like a flyby thing and um and eventually um she bought Judy out, her partner, Judy, who was wonderful, but she pursued other loves of her life. She became a social worker. And, um, and my mom was perfect for this. She has, she had, she has four girls. She has such an incredible fashion sense and has always had an incredible fashion sense. So this is like perfect, perfect, perfect for her. Excuse me, Eva, somebody's at the door. Um, this is a perfect, perfect, um, it was perfect for her. She has an incredible fashion sense and she loves people. That's where I get it from. She mm -hmm. loves people. You know her. So you know how 
yeah, lovely plants. People fall in love with my mom. They absolutely fall in love with her. Um, and it's gonna be 45 years this year that we're in business, wow. which I think right incredible which we did want to do a big anniversary party but that's going to have to be postponed like everybody else's events mm -hmm. um but yeah amazing that we could survive for 45 years and i don't think she ever ever can imagine in her wildest dreams that it would become what it is she started off like with like a two by two with two dress rooms with curtains and then she expanded to pine lake mall and there she had two expansions then we moved here then we had another expansion like we just kept on growing and growing and growing i don't think she could have ever imagined that this is what it was going to be like this huge successful business so you know my mom just did an incredible job she has and and you have really um I, what i have to say is you have been a real big part of that expansion. And what I've seen is these, the mother daughter teams, right. the family, the second generation, but what you, what you've brought to it now is the technology part of it. And yeah. more so <laughs> than ever, and don't, don't say you haven't, but more so than ever, we've seen this now with this horrible pandemic. Right. So let's, let's go back a little and talk through all of a sudden, you know, in no one's wildest dreams, would we have ever thought we'd have to close doors, but you can't close a door on a small business. You have to, I mean, how do you do that? So what happened to you guys, you know? Oh March? my God, when the pandemic started, it wasn't really out there in Michigan, like we had that one case, it was a huge trunk show for us. We saw the handwriting on the wall. It was right when some one person got it at Hill mm -hmm. and we saw what happened. So we decided at that point, Michigan hadn't closed down, our mall hadn't closed down, but we closed down. We were not taking any chances. There was just no way. So right away I ran a sale. Um, and that Tuesday, my sister came in the store and helped me because I could have never done it. Literally, we were slammed. It was non-stop. People, I mean, it was just slammed. My store was slammed Monday too, which was incredible. But it was slammed with all the messages. Um, Allie, Cindy's daughter, texted me, Julie, did you see all the messages on Instagram? I'm like, no. So I saw, I mean, list and list. And then after that, it was all a matter of um, Instagram, Facebook, so, you know, all the social media, but then I was just, um, customers were FaceTiming me constantly or I was FaceTiming them. They were texting me. I would go home every night, work all night long, have notebooks of people to call back, Facebook, text photos to. Then I'd work all morning long before I got into the store. I'd wake up at the crack of dawn and start all over again. Um, and then I was hand delivering everything. So I was hand delivering like I was working six days a week and on Sundays was my delivery day. And we we're doing Huntington Woods, Birmingham, out in commerce, everywhere. It finally got too much for me that somebody who works for me, I would, she would come to my curb and I would just load her car and she would do her whole neighborhood, which was a huge neighborhood on Middle Belt and Lopine, Pine, that area. He, I mean, that was just incredible. Um, and then um, we just, that was, we gained, if there's a good outcome of this, two things is, I can't believe how many customers I've gained out of state. Like I, today I have to call somebody back from New York and let her know what I have for her. New York, Chicago, um, Ohio, Florida, all over the United States. Because they were watching your Instagram mm -hmm. and um, yeah. So okay. let me, let me ask you this question because this is, you know, what I found with local businesses and and I do say small businesses in the sense that you're you're not the big box store you yeah. know and um, so I, I like to say small but I also say local that you know the big box close down send employees home furloughed boom you know mm -hmm. but local business this is you know livelihoods um, so you know you a lot of people they they went to their technology and they were, you know, um, I, I love Sharon, you know, Sharon yesterday, we talked all about right into her dining room and, and set everything up and it became her store and it's her livelihood. And, and, you know, some of the other stores around, they were just in their stores while they could be 
um, you know, Sundance Shoes or Rear Ends and Hershey's, they were all, you know, doing the Instagram and, and you were standing there with your products. And I love the loyalty of your customers. And one of the questions that came to me um, from a publicist standpoint was, is this the time that they that these stores should be selling? The economy is bad, people are losing their jobs. And I loved responding um, to this question so much because I said, if we don't support, they won't be here. And that doesn't mean you need to call guys and gals and spend $500, they don't care. Buy a gift card, buy okay. a game. Right, right. Buy, so, buy, a, buy a comfortable sweatshirt. Yeah, that's what, yeah. So when this all started, um, all during the pandemic, I wasn't texting customers when things, you know, I have a list of customer call when things come in. I felt that I, sh I, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. I never mm -hmm. called or texted anybody because I didn't know what anybody's situation was. I didn't know if they had a job. I didn't know if they had somebody ill in their family. So I never texted or called anybody. The funny thing is I got a text from one of my customers who I text all the time. She goes, I miss your stocking, Julie. You haven't texted me. And then all of a sudden people are now are saying, you never text me when this came in. You never text me when that came in. I'm like, I didn't feel comfortable. So yeah. now a new list of people, I won't text anybody unless they specifically ask me for something, then I'll text them. But I really did not feel comfortable doing that. As far as gift cards, I didn't originally believe in the gift card thing either. Um, I I felt like, how do they know what stores are gonna be around still? Um, mm -hmm. Sell what I have. And then customers started calling me, which is amazing. Again, the support of my customers are on believable. They start texting me and saying, Julie, we want to support you. We want to buy a gift card. Mm -hmm. And then the funny thing is, is most of those people, these gift cards are sitting here and they've bought since they don't want to use their gift cards. They want that money to sit there. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Well, I, I think that, I, I think the greatest part of this lesson is really people are seeing what community support and, and wanting local businesses to survive. They, they realize it. And that's not to say that people don't use Amazon and they don't, they, they do shop at a, a larger store. I mean, people do, but they, they want to walk in your store and they want to have someone say, you know, hi, I know what you're looking for. But even if you don't know the person, you, they'd never know when they walk in right. these local stores. You, you know, they're greeted with, what are you looking for? I mean, there's certain store, big box stores, you could, you know, my mom and I always laugh, you could roam the aisles and nobody will ask you for a thing. That right. isn't the case, you know, when you walk into our local stores. Um, you know, one of the things that, um, is is really challenging when you own a store like yours. You know, how are your employees doing? Um, and how are they doing? How are they doing now as they're starting to come back? How are they feeling? You got a couple, um, you got a couple yeah, in there. Hi in the background if they want. My employees are great. We all did with my employees, we checked in with each other. We had a running strand going, which was hysterical. We kept on texting groups like all these funny jokes and like it was funny. We all kept in touch. We had wine together via, you know, mm -hmm. uh, computer. And um, so most of my employees have come back. Um, they all seem fine. We're very, very, very secure here. Um, like I said, we keep our door locked so people don't, I don't know if I said that to you before and after, we keep our door locked because we only allow three people in at a time. And that way we control what happens in our store. Um, and then they wait, and everybody that's waited outside has been fine. Right when they walk in, we set up a whole bunch of sanitized stations. Right when you walk in, there's one that's against the some cubes. They have to sanitize their hands. We don't allow rubber gloves in the store because we don't know where those rubber gloves have been. And they have to wear a mask. No ifs or buts. They have to wear a mask. Um, so, and then we sanitize all the rooms every day while people, are, you know, right after they they try and close and we have a whole protocol here. I, I feel like everybody feels safe. Yeah. Everybody's 
everybody's really come back to work. Um, I love my employees. And I know you've heard when people have heard me say this over and over again. We're a family. We truly, truly, right. truly are a family. It, it's so crazy because it's like, I'm not their boss. I'm <laughs> like, they're here, okay? They tell me what to do. So, never, never. Yeah. <laughs> Eva said never, okay? She really, <laughs> like, we all, we all laugh together. We all cry together. Um, we truly, truly, truly are a family. And not only are we a family with my employees, my customer base, my all my customers, they're a family. I've been invited to weddings, bar mitzvahs, all different mitzvahs. Um, and when they walk, it's like hugs, kisses. I've gone out socially now with a lot of them. It's just, that's what happens. Right. Um, during this whole pandemic, they've been texting me, how are you doing? And I, I can't even tell you, like, you really realize at a time like this with even the customers, how close we really are now. It's true. Well, that's, that's 45 years in business. What advice, you know, I, um, it's interesting. I, just before I got on this call, I was meeting by Zoom um, with a brand new client and um, they're starting a brand new business. Um, and it's interesting a lot, you know, in 2008, a lot of people started businesses and that um, we're seeing new businesses pop up all of a sudden. What advice would you give someone starting out? I mean, you, you've been in business a long time. Excuse me one second. Eva, the door's to me is knocking. I don't know how many customers we have in right now. Um, sorry. We're, I told you we're busy all the time. I know. I... advice is be true to who you are. Be true to who your customers are be friendly. Like I, if you're in business, depending what kind of business you are, the kind I'm in, you have to, have to, have to love people. I love people. I love talking. I love what I do. You have to love what you do too. If you don't love what you do, then it, 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 don't do right. it. You know, you really truly have to love what you do and you have to love people. You have to be a people person. Yeah, I, I agree with all. I mean, that's just amazing advice. Yeah. How, um, how have you brought yourself up to speed even more on the technology? Like, will you keep, you know, the technology that you needed to really do during this pandemic to sell, will you stay up with it now that we're easing out of the COVID-19? Okay, so two things is that, um, I want, I, I've never had a website and I didn't want a website just because my sell through is so quick and it would be so hard to update it all the time. That is my next step because so many people from out of state or people like we were on Fox two and the response I got from Fox two was so amazing. Yeah. But one of the big questions is, are you online? You know, people who didn't know who guys and girls was, it brought a whole new demographic, whole new group of people, people from far. Um, so that is my next step and I'm researching that now. Um, so that's the next step of technology as far as like we have a reward system that people love. They look so forward to the $20 rewards and oh, did you punch my numbers in? Did I get my points, you know? Um, and, and as far as um, Facebook and Instagram, I, I probably do too much, but it's what's kept us alive, so. Yeah, well, you know, interestingly enough, and I've said this to many of my own clients, that I think one of the things that a lot of them learned, and, and, and I think it's very true with smaller businesses, most don't have a website. The, the fear of the cost of a website. But I think that this pandemic, and it's not going away, has taught all of you, and this is my lecture, this is the lecture part of our FaceTime. You didn't know you were going to get one. Is that, that the cost, the cost now has, it has to be, you have to have some kind of, so you can call me, I'll help you with it, but you have to have some kind of online presence, um, whether it be very minimum, um, but it really, uh, you all have done this amazing social media buying but I have spoken and given clients of mine so many different web um, design um, proposals and they've been like, I'm not gonna spend the money now. And I'm like, okay, and I breathe easy and I get it, you know, I, I get it. I know budgets and everything, but then all of a sudden this pandemic hit and 
there is a good part of it where it would have made life easier. Um, and I look behind you, there's no way to put all of that stuff online. You're, you're opening too many boxes every day. There's no way I would give you that advice. There's, I won't even, I, I wouldn't even begin to convince you of that. But what will happen is that customer in New York will say, mm, they got gene codes. Wonder what else they have. Right. And, you know, that Instagram, I wonder what else they have. Let me go to their website. Let me email them. Let me inquire. And it will make your life. And you don't, you know, to all the small and local businesses out there, get a website, you know, call me, I'll help you because, you know, it, it just doesn't have to be expensive. Um, it, it, it will make your life easy. And I, um, unfortunately, I think, you know, this fall, we're going to enter into some other type of situation, you okay, know, yeah. I mean, I know you have kids, I have kids, they're getting the, we're going to go to school online, we're going to go to school in person. I don't know what any of that means yet, but, you, you know, how many, you know, you, you're letting X amount of people in your store, but you may not be able to, you may be able to open a little bit more, but there's still going to be people who, God, I'd love to look online a little bit, you right. know? No. Or, there's definitely all these people that don't know who I am, who follow me on Instagram, because I think for so long, they were surfing. You know, they were all they were doing is looking at Instagram and Facebook and this and that. So they want to know more about who I am. Yes. Or people from out of state who can't walk into my store that normally, you know, didn't know who I was before and either. Oops. Mm -hmm. Can okay, there we go. Um, that that would like it to, yeah. And remember, so. like you're in this wonderful mall that then they can link into the mall and do so many things to, you know really expand your presence. It, it will be great for you. There's, okay. there's no question. Um, you know, a like, question. I'm sorry. I feel like people are still though, the, the different, like me having a website, they're still going to call me like during this whole pandemic, because you know, whether I know who they are, if they tell me what they, you know, what fit they are, this and this and that, I was able to talk to them. Like everything I sent out of state, one person sent a few things back and then we exchanged it. Other than that, like the customer in New York, nothing came back. Florida, nothing came back because I talked to them and we talked about fit or even like I dropped off bags and bags of jeans to everybody because I kind of know what their body was, what they're looking for. What are you looking for? What kind of fit do you want? High rise, low rise, straight, like skinny. And I sent them care packages and it did really well. And it's, it's talking to them and knowing what their body's like and knowing their taste. So well, it's just a hundred percent because that, you know, if I asked you the number one priority of guys and gals I know you would say customer service absolutely. absolutely so so a website Instagram and Facebook is only one of your tools right it gets them to me yeah so the, you're never gonna you you don't stay in business and and learn from your mom down that you know without that customer service that is why you're so successful right. um you know, I, I spoke to other um, businesses in fashion um, about this because I think this, it, you, and I know you guys do this, you go to New York, you go to, um, well, I know you go to New York, I don't know if you go to other places, but you do buying trips. I mean, that's part of what you do. I know you go to buying trips where you're taking fear, you know, furious notes about, oh, I think this client would like this or, you know, look at what we have. And, you know, how, um, how are you looking at the fall? Um, and I'm laughing because really it's not the fall. You're, you're already looking at probably next winter and spring. How's that going to be for you? So it's been a little, little nuts um, because our fall buy, we had to go back and we spent six days in New York. I did Chicago, whatever. We had to go back to every single solitary order and thread through it and do a lot of cancellations because life isn't going to get back to normal in September mm. or August. So we don't need as many formal dresses, as many 
we don't need things for services. We don't need as many dressy tops. So we had to go through every order, spent hours and days and days mm -hmm. and days going through every order and doing cancellation. So all that work we already did, now we had to do work with those again. Oh, yeah. Then I needed tons of immediates because I kept on selling out of the things people wanted. So um, as far as like sweatpants, like we mentioned sweatpants, sweatshirts, and t-shirts was the number one selling item when this all first happened. Literally, Kira from Laura Moshe, her and I are best friends now. I was on the phone with her every day. What do you have? What do you have? I need more. I need more. I need more. Like I, I just kept on selling out. And right now I'm running out too. So all my companies, I did reorders and we did it through, I know the lines. So I did it through email. Okay. Where's my stuff? I need it. I need it. I need it. Cause I'm out like right now it's shorts, t-shirts, um, definitely people are starting to go out and they want dressier things, but I have that already. It's not the stuff I have to reorder. So next season, which you're talking about holiday. I'm not as concerned about holiday except for my casual items because everybody pushed, nobody was producing, nobody was able to produce. So they pushed everything forward. They didn't have a choice. So all their deliveries have changed. Okay. So the next problem is my September market. I like to touch things. I like to feel them. I like to see, you know, uh, the quality. The companies I know it's not going to be as hard with. Um, some companies have emailed me about a new t-shirt line. Somebody emailed, can you send me a sample? Of course, we can send you a sample. What size are you? Because I need to feel the t-shirt. I need to know that it's good quality, mm -hmm. that people are going to like it. That's the more difficult part. Um, denim, I'm going to have people send me care packages so I can see the fits. Uh, that's how I started with Mousy anyhow. Mousy, they were great. They really wanted to be in my store. They're like, we're sending you a care package of all of our fits. Have everybody try them on and you'll know. And that's what we did. That's why I started with Mousy. So okay. I'll do it again. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to New York in September, if that's your question. I, I, no, I, and you know what? It, 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 and I would say the stores around you aren't going either. And, yeah. and I'd say that doesn't seem like the designers and the show is really happening so much either I mean it just it just doesn't seem like that's happening um but yeah. yeah and um um but it's it's really going to make the fashion buys different and you know what I'm so impressed in talking to all of you is how on top of it you want to be for your customers um, and making sure that you have the things that they want in the store um, and the care that, you know, that you're saying that you want, you want to touch it, you want to feel it, um, and, and that you want to make sure that the quality in your store does not change. Right, exactly. So, I mean, that's so important. Um, so tell me, um, because, well, I'll tell you that I wake up most mornings to a text, an e-blast from guys and gals. Um, well, I, I should say, I wake up to an e-blast and then at some point during my morning, I get a text from guys and gals. So, you know, I will say this, that um, you guys are on it. I mean, there is no out of sight, out of mind. Um, and it's great. Um, and, you know, the truth is that um, I can say that a lot of people, if they don't like that, they can opt out. And that's what I tell people. Like, I'll have people say, oh, isn't that too much? I'll be like, so opt out. Don't, if you don't want it, don't, don't get it. And I, I, I think that the truth of the matter is your customers want to know what's going on. And I want to, you know, so, that, you know, I, I have an answer to that. And, you know. <laughs> I feel like we didn't overdo it. So we have a system that's the rewards program and that's what you're referring to with the text mm -hmm. messaging. So text us which, uh, whenever we have a sale or a flash sale, text mm -hmm. you when you have a birthday because you get 25% off when it's your birthday. Um, it texts you when you get a reward. So I was really careful not to overdo it with the text. I did send out the email still. And of course, emails, you you know, don't open it if you don't want to open it. Um, but I didn't want the text messaging to be, I didn't do personal text messaging. It was through this program that we used. Yeah. Um, but now, and I felt bad, like, oh, did I make a mistake by not texting everybody what was on sale or what the flash sale of the week was? But I think they saw my Instagrams. And most of those people follow me on Instagram or Facebook. So Yeah. Well, you, you know what? I tell people, and I really think like messaging is key. You have to stay branded and you have to stay on your message. And, you know, Julie, the truth of the matter is we're inundated with messaging. And people have to take 
responsibility for the messages they want to receive. Right. So not just your message, but if you don't want to receive it, then don't. Just opt out, right. 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 And so this morning I woke up. And so where I was going, my last question to you, because your story is filling and I want you to go be you. Um, what do you have going on this week? Um, what's happening? What? Because I have to get there. So tell me okay. what I have to go get <laughs> and everybody else. So right now we are flash sales. So I've been periodically running flash sales and we normally have gene trade in a couple weeks ago. We didn't do gene trade in and we get a lot of denim in for that. So our, um, our flash sale this week, it ends on Friday is all denim jeans are all 50 up. Besides that, all of our summer clothing, even if it's a brand new arrival that came in today is 20% off. So all summer merchandise is 20 to 50% off and our jewelry. I'm sorry. And our jewelry accessories. The only thing not on sales are gift items. So I got to tell everyone, um, I, you know, I'm heading out to a restaurant tomorrow night downtown for the first time um, in a very long time. Um, I went to friends last week and, you know, everybody sort of slowly, but surely I know you've been going to see some friends in their backyards. You know, it, it's really fun. Like, don't wear your sweatpants anymore. Leave them off. You know, like it's, you know, last week was really fun. I had bought um, a pair of pants, I think the Saturday in March, you know, before we all got closed down, I finally put them on. Like, yeah. you know, get out, buy a t-shirt, buy a pair of pants, dig in your own closet, you know, oh. like get, get, get something to make you feel good. And are you kidding me? 50% off on jeans every Everybody needs a pair of jeans. Well, the thing is, I'll just say one thing, is that you feel better. Like the first two weeks, I didn't really, I wore my leggings and my sweatshirts. I wanted to just be comfortable because I was running around. I was here by myself every day, like a crazy person. As soon as I got dressed, I felt so yeah. much better. And I want, like when I go to my friend's house or they come to my house, we're, that's how we're entertaining right now. I've been having weekends, like almost every weekend, somebody at our house and actually every weekend. Um, I feel good when I get dressed. I want to be dressed. Yeah. I don't want to look, you know, I want to be dressed. I, I agree. So everybody, it's time to take our sweatpants off. It's summer. It's time to put cute shorts on, a cute t-shirt. Jeans are 50% off. Other things are 20% off. I mean, are you kidding me? Well, like, 20, 40 and 50. There's a lot of things on sale. Like all my blazers are 50 off. All my camisoles are 40 off. There's a lot of good sales right now. So stop by guys and gals. You're going to get stopped at the door because not everyone can get in at once. Right. You're going to use antibacterial soap to get in. You must have a mask. I love it. Um, this isn't other stores where you can walk in and then take your mask off. It is a mask the whole time. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't have one, but nobody's near me. But yeah, well, it, it's just safety is first right now with everybody. I just really feel strongly about safety and keeping our numbers down in Michigan. That's right. And I will say this, that on the same token, they have amazing masks. They're also selling, and I've showed everyone um, the mask chains that I cannot live without that Ashley has course, made you know who makes it she's here right now oh, the yeah, she is? Okay, she's here right now shopping but yes this is like been my lifesaver because originally oh. i was losing every mask i had okay okay well you tell ashley she's ta you're talking to me because i don't ever stop talking about that chain okay, because ashley. It, i sell okay. that i tell i tell everyone about the chain because i i was like they were stuck in the bottom of my purse. I it was everywhere. And I mean, it's like a piece of jewelry. So I have my, my chain everywhere. You can do with your chain too. This one isn't as long as some of them. This top yeah. isn't the top, but me and my sister, she it was actually her idea. We make it into a necklace. So it looks right. a little bit. So make yours into a necklace. And it's like a choker. I, I, yeah. Into a choker. And then, right. Except just like best. dang. dang. Isn't that a great idea to do with your chain? It's totally a great. He was so creative with this. It was great. We just got a new shipment in today and yesterday from her. I can't yeah, I, I, love, I absolutely like she, um, I, I called her right away. I'm like, I need one for my mother-in-law, one for my mom. Then my daughter lives in New York. I'm like, she needs one. 
And I'm like, wait, I don't have one now. So <laughs> I'm like, Ashley, I need another one. So I mean, and we for men now, Siri. I had her make them up. I had a request for men. All these men wanted them. Mm-hmm. So she's making me for men too now. So you know. Well, that's great. I mean, you have so many wonderful things. Give her my love. <laughs> she's in a dressing room all the way down there. So oh I'll good. Go. Well, she's she's, she's so she's so skinny now. <laughs> I'm jealous. I think it's over 12. So I gave 12. So yeah. No, you didn't. You look great. Thanks for coming on with me. Everybody go to Guys and Gals. It was wonderful. Uh, It's great speaking to you as always. Thank you. And I love your mom. She has just been an amazing, amazing person and amazing store. So thanks for joining me. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Thanks. Bye.